वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू अनदर ट्यूटोरियल ऑन टैबलू दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज विल हेल्प यू टेक योर स्किल्स फ्रॉम बिगनर टू एक्सपर्ट लेवल इन टैबलू डो नॉट फोगेट टू हिट द रेड सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू आर द फर्स्ट वन टू नो वेन एवर आई अपलोड एनी न्यू वीडियो इन टूडे सेशन वी विल सी हाउ टू यूज शो हाइट बटन फंक्शनैलिटी इन टैबलू टू शो और हाइट टॉप फाइव व्यू I have already created a detailed video on how to add show height button in Tableau. So, if you are not familiar with the show height button concept in Tableau, then I would suggest you to watch that video first. You will find the link of that video in the top right corner, and I have also added the link of that video in the description below. In that video, I have explained how to add all the filters that we have on the dashboard. inside the show height button that will give more space on the dashboard and also you will be able to create a clean looking dashboard now let me show you the demo of what we will be doing today here i have a rounded progress bar chart that shows percentage scored by top 5 students of a class there may be a scenario that you are also asked to show the percentage scored by all the students in the same dashboard so instead of creating two separate views on the dashboard i have added this button here the button reads show all so when i will click on this button then we will see a rounded progress bar chart that will show us percentage scored by all the students of a class now the button reads show top 5 let me click on this button now the bar chart shows us percentage scored by top 5 students of a class i have used the concept of show height button to create this view if you also want to know how to create these rounded progress bar chart in tableau then you will find the link of that video in the top right corner and i have also added the link of that video in the description below now let's jump to tableau and see how to create a view similar to this one i have created two similar bar charts first bar chart showing us the percentage scored by top 5 students of a class so i have named it top 5 students and the second worksheet shows us the percentage scored by all the students of a class and i have named it all students worksheet in the top 5 students worksheet i have just filtered out the top 5 students based on the percentage now let's see how to add these two charts in the dashboard using show height button create a new dashboard first let's edit the dashboard size from the drop down select fixed here give the dimensions according to your requirement let me select width as 1000 pixel and height as 500 pixel now drag any one of the view to the dashboard i am just dragging this top 5 worksheet drag vertical container just below this top 5 worksheet decrease the size a little bit so that the view is almost in this container no extra space is visible under this chart this we are doing just to have smooth swapping between both the charts let's remove this measure names now add the second chart as floating press shift on the keyboard and drag the worksheet to the dashboard remove this measure names
now we will set the size of this worksheet similar to the size of this top 5 worksheet so let's check the layout the dimension of this worksheet is 984 and the height is 226 so let's give same width and height width is 984 and the height was 226 now drag this worksheet so that it is exactly above the top 5 worksheet we can adjust it using the up and down arrow now the all students worksheet is placed just above the top 5 worksheet you will observe that the below title is getting overlapped with the top worksheet due to which this title is getting bold we will add a white background to this top worksheet make sure this top worksheet is selected then add a white background so now the title is not getting overlapped last step is to add the show height button so click on the drop down click on add show height button now drag this button to the top right corner click on the presentation mode currently we are seeing the all students worksheet that gives us the percentage scored by all the students and when i will click on this close button then here we can see only the top five students let's edit the button so click on the drop down click on edit button we want to show top five students on the dashboard and when someone clicks on the button then we want all students worksheet to be displayed we want the text to be displayed on this button let me show you so like this we want the button to display show all and when we click on this show all then we will see the text show top 5 so let's edit our button in this way select button style as text so when the item is hidden we want the title as show all and let's give a gray background let's also give black font color and we can also give a tooltip here let's write down show all students now click on this item shown so when the item is shown that means when the uh, dashboard shows us all students worksheet then we want the title as show top 5 edit the font color to black and give a gray background the tooltip will be show top 5 students now click on ok let's increase the size of this button let me go to presentation mode so currently we are seeing the top 5 students and the button reads show all so when i will click on this show all button we will be displayed with the list of all the students and the percentage scored by all the students let's increase the size a little bit so that the text is clearly visible now the button reads show top 5 and when i will click on this button we will be displayed with the top 5 students worksheet so in this way we can make use of show height button 
to show the percentage scored by top 5 students and all the students in a single view on the dashboard and no need to create separate views on the dashboard I have already created a detailed video on how to add this show hide button in Tableau you will find the link of that video in the description below this was all that I had to cover in this session thanks for watching this video I have added the link of this workbook in the description below do not forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell icon if you want to watch more such useful content in the future see you in the next tutorial